standing between us and our goal are 33 trained security personnel and about $50 million worth of automated defense mechanisms. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Mr. Nightmare. There was a big line at the donut shop. I was just thinking, um, you know, I'd, I'd like to get more involved around here. You know, I, I have a lot to offer. I could maybe even, you know, like, you know, go out on the mission today because I just, I really want to be a part of the team. Mark, Mark, you are part of the team. You're just the part that doesn't go anywhere. Hey, where is everybody? Um, they're not here. Nightmare always manages to... Mr. Kamen, it seems that your list of aliases is just one. Maniac. I stand behind the decision to endorse his release. Mark suffers from a mild form of Asperger's syndrome, which went undetected in his youth. This led to his obsessive nature with technology. Due to these talents and the lack of emotional support from his family, he caught the attention of and was manipulated by the criminal known as Nightmare. Mark's use to this criminal has passed. In addition to the embarrassment inflicted upon Mr. Kamen, he has severed all emotional ties with this Nightmare. My network of influence is vast. How did you imagine that you only served five years in a medium security mental institution? This brotherhood looks out for each other. Our bonds cannot be broken. Mark Kamen! I know who you're working for. I want to talk to you. I am not a superhero, okay? I don't have any powers. Maybe you don't understand what power is. I believed that I had power until it was taken away from me. The power isn't in the mask. It's in whether we choose to wear it. Viruses in Nightmare's network. I've made my choice. I'm gonna kick your ass, maniac. something that's mine. What exactly is a book club? A group of women sitting around reading and talking about it.
Award. We have a very special guest in studio with us this morning, Dr. Howard Tarkanian. He's a psychiatrist and world-renowned author of the book, Fear Itself. Everyone but me has some sort of fear they need to overcome. I've been an agoraphobic for pretty much all of my life. Um, I, when, when I came out of the womb, I probably had a panic attack. I don't like being enclosed anywhere in particular, and it kind of got to an extreme a couple of years after I was diagnosed. Claustrophobia, it's a very popular, trendy fear. It's the John Stamos of fears. I'm a lesbian, and I am absolutely terrified of women. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. I can't even really look in the mirror, because every time I see an attractive woman, I freak out, so naturally. <laughs> It's just hard. I, I just can't talk right. to women. That is terrible and strangely hot. I think it's normal to not want to fail in life. Actually, uh, I don't like the term fail, so how about we just call it F word? I don't know why Emily would no. be afraid of failure. Uh, we've taught her from a young age, do not be afraid. I want you to think of this as a place of freedom hey, hey, and hey, healing. Hey, hey. And I want you to just be like birds. Feel the wind soar. Open your fly and be free. This is nothing like talking to an actual woman. Well, it's a step in the right direction. I don't like clowns. Bus. It was terrifying. Oh, uh, by the way, do you have two bucks I can borrow I, so I can get back? Yeah, you shouldn't be here. This is the only place I should be. Look. <sighs> Look, um, therapy did me like, a world of good. There was no therapy. Well, no, no, that's not what I'm talking about. My, my therapy with you. My share in therapy. My... My share -a You gave me a reason to go outside. I'm scared. So am I. And we're both scared. We're always scared. Maybe if we're scared together, we can make it a little less scary. So then she said to me, if it were me, I would. Oh, no, she didn't. So then what did she do? She did. <gasps> no, she didn't. I didn't even know you could do that with a photocopier. I know, right? So now Jones is looking for a new executive assistant, and Marion's on her way back to the secretarial pool. Secretarial pool, huh? Neat. Secretarial pool. Secretarial pool. Secretarial pool.
This is all so unspeakably evil. Oh, no, Steve. It's just good business.
Blood. Blood. Skullman, 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 bad. Skullman, bad. 